All right. The girls told me to meet them out here. I'm so excited. And they're hot? Yeah. We try to be cool, though. Don't be all weird and shit. Don't offer them a frozen pizza. Just don't be all rug burn about it. I am too excited to focus on your deeply offensive statement there. Uh, what does she look like? Who? The other girl. She's cute. She, uh, short hair. She likes to sing. What? She's a singer? Finally! What is this angel's name? You better dial it back. What Ooh. is this angel's name? You're being rug burned about it. You're already being it. So what the fuck? Ellis, please, sometimes words hurt. I need confidence in stressful times. You all stressed about meeting a girl? Stop analyzing and tell me my new girlfriend's name. Her name's Danielle. Danielle? That's pretty. Uh, oh, hey, Ellis. Hey, rubber, rubber. Reverend, what's happening? Are we out here dancing? No, just standing here. Where are you off to, Dewey Dave? I'm gonna go right over to Gary's apartment and then fuck around for a little while. I don't know. Didn't get your license back yet? No. <laughs> Bullshit, you know. But, hey, you know, well, hey, life sometimes was really great, you know. Good. It's, and life is good, and it's good, and it's life. And then sometimes life isn't so good. Yeah, sometimes it's like... It's like your worst day is like a year or two, and you wake up and you're like, I wish I, I, w I wish it would end. I wish it would all go away. How's the family, Dave? Oh, they're, they're, uh, they, they left. They left six months ago. Well, I gotta go. Uh, Gary's popping in a frozen pizza, so okay. Tell me more about Danielle. Does she like the Talking Heads? Ask her yourself. Here they come. Hey, babe. What are we doing out here? Danielle? Did you maybe mean Daniel? My name's Daniel. What's your problem? Daniel's a fucking man, asshole. Oh, yeah. What? I don't know. He's kind of pretty. Not pretty enough. I don't know what's going down here, but I'm not gay. Especially for you. Look, I'm not gay... Wait, especially me? Christopher fucking Christ, was that needed? Hey, you wanna get out of here? Let's just walk a couple blocks to my place. I don't know. Sorry, Dan. What does he have that I don't? You wanna see? No. Tough break, man. I've been there. He does that shit to me all the time. It's funny because actually, he said you were a woman. Dude, I'm not gay. I'm not g gay, I'm just saying. Especially for you. Stop! That's really shitty thing to say to someone. You, it, It's still rejection. It still hurts. Whatever. Hey, who stole my bike? <laughs> Sucks for you. Too bad you didn't want to bang me because I could have gave you a ride. Dude. I'm not gay. You sure? Because from here you look like a real cocksucker. This, this is good pizza. The Red Baron. Tombstone. Hmm. Well, it's tasty. So what are we doing? Are we can hit this bong or did you guys do it before I got her? We're just going to watch Forensic Files? Tonight was supposed to be different. Hi, I'm Willie Williams. I'm here with all the new Taylor Swift merch. I, I said Swift, I meant Swift. Taylor Swift merch. We need to find a nice end cap for it. And we have a counter display. We'll put it right here. That looks great. Hey, make sure you keep the place tidy while representing Taylor Swift. <laughs> Oh, you little scoundrels. You'll be paying for that, by the way. Hey, do you know a bunch of people in New York? Because I just wrote a new book. It's called Go Fuck Yourself, Asshole by James Rugburn. It's about you. Hey, I just wrote a book, too. It's called What Daddy, Black Mama. What does that make me? It's kind of about a childhood that I lived. It's about me. Uh, what? Uh... Did you really write a book about yourself? 
like a life story? Oh well, yeah, why would I lie and say I did if I didn't? Didn't you? You didn't write a book called "Go Fuck Yourself." No. Well, yeah, I guess I have. Sort of. It's more of a list. Am I in your book? Who's going to be writing me the check for the damaged goods? Suck my dick, you corporate pig. Welcome back to In Cities. You're live with the Bang Bang Sports Morning Show on 100.3 The Stan. I'm Cocaine Corey at your service. Here with me, as always, is fantasy football guru Matt Matthews. Football is numbers, and I am the god of football numbers. Therefore... I am the god of football. Careful now, Matt. Hey, how's the new townhouse? Going about as well as the Timberwolves on a West Coast road trip. I miss my dog. Sports! Also with us is Gary the Goofer. Just call me Gary. I got some draft predictions coming up. I also have a personal announcement. Well, uh, let's hold off on that, Gary. All right, we have invited a special guest, local business owner, and local stand-up comedian Ellis Griggs is in studio to tell us about his record store pad vinyl. Rock and roll all night, let's go. Hello, Mr. Griggs. Can I call you Ellis? Yeah, whatever you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. This guy knows. (laughs) Hey, don't make jokes about my wolves. Cat been out and ant been lighting it up. Ricky don't like negativity. Ooh, sports. Nice. You a big Minnesota sports fan? Yeah, of course. How many fantasy leagues are you in? None. I don't need to gamble on sports to be entertained by sports. Fantasy football is not gambling when you know the numbers, and guess what, guy? I know the numbers. Hey, Matt, chill out. You're doing it again. There's a call from a guy who says he is also the owner of Pine Vinyl. His name is James Richards or something. Never heard of him. Well, there you have it. (laughs) Ellis, we brought you in because we wanted to feature local stores like your own. And uh, tell us a little bit about Pine Vinyl. Yeah, Pine Vinyl on 48th in Chicago. Come in this weekend and buy one album and we'll give you the very best of Leo Sayer for free. Also, if any of you thick girls are bored and want to have some fun, I'll supply the entertainment. If you got your own weed, you should bring that, though. Boing is right. Oh, I thought you did the boing noise. The boing noise. I guess we don't do anything anymore, huh? Anyway, uh, that sounds great, Ellis. I can't wait to stop by this weekend and pick up a new record. Back to sports. Hey, Matt, did you hear about the uh, fan in uh, L.A. yelling at LeBron last night? Yeah, you mean the woman that who was screaming at him for absolutely no reason while he was trying to do his job? Yeah, it reminded me a lot of Melissa. She's dating Dennis from softball, I think. I didn't get a good look at him, but I saw he's driving a brand new cherry red Dodge Charger. Oh, boy, what a show off. Who, who, who drives a red Dodge Charger? A big puss. That you drives a goddamn. One hundred point three. This Stan and our sponsors do not endorse stalking in any form. Matt is just simply doing a bit here, and here we go back to the world of sports. Uh, hey Gary, let's open up the phone lines. Hello. Who am I talking with this morning? Hi, my name is James Rugburn. I believe someone kept mispronouncing my last name entirely, but uh, anyway, I am also the owner of Pine Vinyl. I was unaware we were invited to be on a radio show. Otherwise, I would have absolutely loved to be on. It's kind of a dream of mine. I've always wanted to be interviewed on the radio, Um, and this could have been my chance. Uh, Guess someone forgot to tell me. Ellis, is this James Ruffbun? Rugburn. Telling the truth, is he actually co-owner of Pine Vinyl? It doesn't ring a bell. Damn it, Ellis, stop being such a fucking dick. Oh, that's not sports. Gary, you missed that one. That's another fine. What was that, number three? Oh, god damn it. All right. Uh, permanent ban on James Ruffbun, that's for sure. Make sure he can't call back in. You're in charge of that, Gary? I hope you can handle it. Prediction time. Wait, huh? The Super Bowl champs will be the... Buccaneers. Well, goddammit, Gary. We're saving that for the final segment. 
Was that all you had prepared, just saying the name of the team? No. I also have a personal announcement. Let's chat off air during the nine o'clock break. Okay, Gary? Bring a box, goofer. Last chat he had was with the Traffic Ham Tim. Guess what we don't have on the show anymore? Traffic report. He was let go because of budget cuts that were out of my control. You both know that. B.S. Corey, he wasn't fired over numbers, and you know why I know? Because I know numbers. Let's just get back to the show as planned, and we can talk about how the station's going under at a different time. Maybe after hours. Okay, Matt? Okay, Matt? So, Ellis, how has business been for Pine Vital? How's business been? I don't know. It's been cool. I don't really do the counting, so... I have a phone call from a John McCartney who says the store is, in fact, not doing great, and any support people can offer would be greatly appreciated by both owners Ellis and James uh, Rug... Hang up on him, Gary. Please do a better job screening calls. Uh Uh-oh, goofer. You made the big boss man angry. You know what happens when Corey gets angry. You're really lucky you're under contract, Matt. You're very, very lucky. Dallas, since we already mentioned the Super Bowl, did you have any predictions for the big game? Oh, yeah. Uh, I predict the Packers won't play, as it should be. I also predict Brady is the GOAT. And Mahomes looks like Eric Andre on slightly less drugs. So that's a pick for the Bucks. We'll check in later to see what all the other winners are during our Super Bowl prediction segment. Brought to you by Canterbury Downs Poker Room. Hey, Ellis, you play poker? Oh, no. I don't like square dancing. I'm sorry? He thought you said polka. Jesus Christ, you are an awful host. And you were clearly an awful husband and father. I have a call from someone who said he would like to chime in on our conversation. Is it James Ruffbun again, Gary? Nope. He said his name was Dennis. Dennis? Like Dennis from Softball? Ask him, Goofer. Ask him if he's Dennis from Goddamn Talk. Ooh, now we might have a segment. Uh, hello. Am I speaking to Dennis? Yeah. We've been hearing so much about you. Are you fucking my wife, Dennis? Admit it, you son of a bitch. I saw you drive away. Boop. Ah, a little late. A little late on the trigger there, Gary. Another fine. Well, let's get back to our guest. Hello, uh, Dennis. Uh, What did you have to add to our conversation this morning? Uh, Yeah, just, uh, I guess, the guy's wife. um, What I really wanted to say was uh, this James Rugburn seems like a real unsung hero for Pine Vinyl Records. I also know that they're having a Leo Sayer sale all weekend, so stop in and... Gary, if you're unable to monitor the phones, you will not have a position at the station. Do you understand me? Did you hear that, Goofer? You're a dead man walking. He won't fire me. And stop calling me Goofer. What's this? Why the hell do you think he won't fire you, Goofer? Because I have an announcement. Okay, Gary. What's your announcement? I have recently bought a new car. What kind of car did you buy? A brand new Dodge Charger. What color is the car? Tell him the color, goofer. What is it? cherry red and don't call me goofer hi i'm richard leakes matt matthews would immediately snap live on air his profane filled fuck fest would go on to become modern urban legend no audio has ever been found 
but some still believe this lost media to exist. The search continues. Gary was offered a hefty pay raise and a promotion after getting Matthews fired. Something Cocaine Corey was very grateful for. Gary heard the offer, paused for a moment, and calmly told Corey to go bang a bowling pin. Gary didn't want to do radio anymore. No. He wasn't put on planet Earth by L. Ron Hubbard to work morning radio. No. He was put on planet Earth by L. Ron Hubbard to do one thing, and one thing only. He was born to drive a snowplow. Hey, Ellis, do you smell that? Yeah, Dewey Day puked on the pool table. No, not that. The other smell. No, all I smell is puke. It's love, Ellis. The smell is love, and it's in the air. I love you, Rod Graham. Okay, DJ. Feels like a normal Friday night to me. No, Ellis. Spring has sprung. People are taking off their masks and re-emerging back into the wild, ready to mate like penned-up creatures longing for companionship. Hey, Rubber. Uh, Ella, uh, what, are you, what are you guys doing? Are you having a bar mitzvah or something? Dewey Dave, you're looking thin. Are you doing some exercise, some shit? Uh, yeah, I, I ride my bike wherever I go. I, I have to, and I just threw up. So, yeah. A bit early, though, isn't it, Dave? When'd you get here? Ah, uh, probably about uh, Sunday. How's the family, Dave? Yep, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go play uh, some tunes on the uh, touch tunes. Uh, you guys wanna hear some Alice in Chains? Uh, thinking about playing Down in a Hole. Remember that one? No, that's depressing as shit, man. Uh, how about something a little more magical? Inspiring? Love is in the air, Dave. Do you smell it? Smell it? Uh, yeah. Uh, hot dogs? I puked those up. Uh, taste in my mouth still, so maybe I'm just smelling the, the old hot dog breath. Nope, not barf hot dogs. I'm talking about love, Dave. And we all need it. Every one of us. Badly. We need the touch of someone who wants to build a life with us. Someone who wants to better us. Help us be the people that we were supposed to be being already. We need love. You need your dick sucked. No, I don't. Well, yeah, I totally do, but no, this is different. This is... I want the whole thing, Ellis. I want the whole shebang. Not just the bang. I want the she. Oh, boy. Kind of clever. Not at all. Right? She-bang? Shebang? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Tonight's the night we find the love of our lives, everyone. Yeah, I, I do. I need to find it. Love. I need love, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, me too. I suppose he's not completely wrong, even though this is so forced and cringy. I need love. I want love too. Doesn't everyone? That's right, Gary. Everyone wants love, and tonight we find it. And it all starts with the perfect song. So, Dave, maybe instead of an ode to suicide, we could start the rest of our lives off right with a song that makes us believe anything is possible. Maybe something like, oh yeah, I know. Uh, hey Dave, go play Dust in the Wind by those uh, Kansas guys. Yeah, that will get the hormones going. Yeah, uh, wait on that though. I believe that song is about people dying and that nothing really matters, so how about... Play Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. No, DJ, you just said that because I just said Nothing Else Matters. Plus, that song is also super depressing and probably about death. Hey Dave. Play I'll Be Missing You by Puff Daddy. Might be under P. Diddy. Fuck fine. No P. Diddy. That's like one of the most famous death songs ever. Plus it's a sample of a song about a stalker. Hey Dave, play Legalize It by Peter Tosh. Ah, that song's like about legalizing weed. It's not really about love or inspiring love or anything like that. I actually have the perfect song if you guys would stop interrupting me. Hey Dave, why don't you play the song Acid? 
by the London duo Jockstrap. Jockstrap? Fuck you. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you hoping to hear UB40 or something? I'm sure it's better than your stupid pitchfork band. I feel bad for her. Feel bad for who? Whoever it is you single out as your victim. Are you calling my future wife a victim? Hey, Dave. Play Victim of Love by the Eagles. God damn it, DJ. How about I play Born to be Wild? Now that's a song that really gets my motor running. My God, how old do you want your wives to be? You want them to be 80-year-old biker bitches? Is that what we're doing here? Finding old-ass leathery women? Hey, Dave. Why don't you play Burn One Down by Ben Harper? Awesome, another weed song. Way to fight the stereotype, Burnout Benny. You want a love song? Fine. How about my favorite Neil Diamond song? Wait, what'd you say? Did you say Neil Diamond? Yeah. Okay. I love me some Neil Diamond. What song are we going with? Cracklin' Rose, Song Sung Blues, Forever in Blue Jeans. Oh, wait. I know which one. Girl, you'll be a woman soon. Nasty ass. Okay, you guys want a song? Dave, put on Allentown by Billy Joel. Okay? Hmm, not sure a song about the mid-80s steel industry and pencil fucking vania is going to get me where I need to be, but you know what? Whatever. You guys can play whatever the fuck you want, because my ass is going home. So long, assholes. The next day. Damn, dog, you missed out last night. What? What do you mean? Everybody banged. Everybody banged? What does that mean? It means everyone banged someone last night. What? Even Packer Dan? Yup. Dewey Dave? Yup. DJ? Yup. Gary? Yup. How do you know everyone banged? Did you call them all up in the morning to verify that they had intercourse? I saw them do it. Everyone banged at the bar? Yup. What the fuck? What song did you guys end up playing? Allentown by Billy Joel. What the fuck? Look, Ellis. We're going through space like Trek Wars. It's Star Wars. And slow the hell down, okay? You know I don't like driving in the winter. You don't like driving anywhere because you never, ever, ever drive. You think I want to be navigating through a blizzard to pick up your girlfriend at the airport? You know what? You're right. Yeah, let's just slow down and focus on the road, okay? Calm down, Ellis. I got a V8 in this thing and 200 pounds of salt pellets in the back. This majestic vehicle has made it through four decades of Minnesota winters. Nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Ah, oh, shit, that's not good. I told you, reckless ass, to slow down. God damn it. Yeah, well, all right. Let's just assess the situation. We're inside what appears to be the belly of a snow giant? What's a snow giant? Like in Frozen. I mean, like in folklore. Old folklore. You playing games right now? Well, maybe I am. Maybe I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Okay? Or would you rather focus on the fact that we're buried alive? I told your ass to slow down. Well, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Jenny. Look. Let's just focus on how to get out of here. Try to start the car. Won't turn over. I bet the radiation cylinder is flooded. Well, how do we unflood it? Uh, no idea. I just made all those words up. God damn you. All right. We have about 18 minutes before hypothermia becomes an issue. Also, a little nervous about the available oxygen. Looks pretty airtight in here. Are you saying we're going to suffocate? Or freeze. One of the two. Maybe a bit of both, actually. Rogue burn. Well, you ready to hear my plan? Yeah, goddamn, let's go. We're running out of time. Okay. Our only way out of the car is through your window. Now, I'm not sure what it is we're stuck in, exactly, but if we can dig up, we should eventually find air. It'll be like we're swimming to the top of the pool. Oh, wait, you're black. Um, it'll be like climbing to the top of the ball pit that Hardy's used to have. <laughs>
You remember those? I can swim just fine, motherfucker. Can you really? Oh, wow. Good for you, Ellis. Your dad must have taught you. Ooh, I'm done with your ass. Boy, thank the Lord we had extremely handy manual windows to roll down. If this was a modern electronic car, we'd be trapped inside. You better shut up. You're using up the oxygen. Hey, Ellis, where did Jenny fly to? Her brother's wedding. And she didn't invite you? She said it was just a small backyard thing. Have you even met her family yet? No, not yet. Oh, man. Hasn't it been, like, seven months? So what? I wonder what she's hiding. Or is it you she's hiding? Why don't you go back in the car, take a nap or some shit, okay? Do they know you're black? Do you think they're cool with it? You know what? I don't know why I wasn't invited to the wedding. And you want to know something else? If she would have asked me to come, I would have gone in a heartbeat. And you want to know something else? I'm worried that she went to see her ex-boyfriend. And when I see her off the plane, she's going to break up with me. That's what I'm dealing with right now. All right? I'm sorry. I didn't know. Damn, wanted to buy that ring. Buy that ring? Ring? What ring? Like a blow pop ring? Or a, an O-ring for a faucet? Or a, a ring from that movie about the killer VHS tape. Can't remember the name of the movie. There was two of them. Is that the ring you're talking about? You know what? Forget it. Let's just get out of here. Or we talk about this for a second. What are you about to do, Willis? Look, her ex-boyfriend is a fool. He left her to go make some money in Chicago. I can't let her make that mistake. Did you buy an engagement ring to make her pick you? You understand why that's a terrible idea, right? Sure. She could see the ring and think, well, you're probably bigger than her ex, right? Like, penis-wise? Wait, is her ex black, too? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, it's is it a super nice ring? <laughs> you know what? Whatever. Let's say she picks you. Who's to say she won't start going on these mysterious trips to her brother's weddings the minute she gets, you know, bored or whatever? You can't propose just because you don't want someone else to have her, Ellis. You propose because you don't want to live without her. I don't want to live without her. Okay. Well, then you better start digging. You, better start digging. <sighs> you boys look like you need a lift. We have code red, terrorist threat, fire when you have the shot, Andrew. No, stop. It's all for love. Oh, okay. Cancel the shot, Andrew. It's all for love. Congrats, guys. So, Jenny, I understand why we didn't work out. You only date black guys. <laughs> it actually makes this so much easier for me, personally. I don't date someone because of their race. I date someone because of love. And I found it. Love, you say? Yeah. Love of big penises. <laughs> right? Two black dudes in a row? Come on. I mean, if you mixed it up a little, maybe a Mexican guy or a Pacific Islander, but you know what? I better save some of this for the best man speech. <laughs> I'm speaking at your wedding, by the way. 100%. Man, feels weird being inside one of these. Thanks for letting me tag along, Gary. Not a problem, James. And thank you for the edibles. Yeah, uh, I was actually surprised to hear you operate this thing while stoned. For me, it makes me sharper. Like a night owl, hunting its prey beneath the snow, scurrying rodents. Yeah, owls are cool. 
I know how to speak owl, actually. I can speak, uh, it's an old joke. I know I don't usually contact you to just hang out, but since Ellis got married, he doesn't really want to go out as much, and like, I always thought you could be kind of fun to hang out with, right? You're kind of a lone wolf guy, and I know... I'm not sure what type of friend you're looking for, but I must stay up front. I can only be me. I don't change for anyone. I'm Gary. Until the end. I'm not asking you to change, Gary. I was just bored and Ellis made some fish last night and it stunk up the whole building. It smells like shit. I once ate so much fish, I got mercury poisoning. I hate fish. Gross. Do you remember David Garrett from high school? We didn't go to the same high school, Gary. Well, that red car up ahead is his. Whoa, holy shit! David Garrett joined my softball team two years ago. We played Thursday nights, traveled out of state for tournaments, stayed at hotels with swimming pools. Really great memories were made. But then, this last summer, David Garrett kicked me off the team. Replaced me with Tony Suarzo, who happened to be the same Tony Suarzo who locked me in the girls' bathroom freshman year. I loved playing softball. Now David Garrett doesn't have a car anymore. Look, I think most people right now would be actually pretty terrified of you. But if I'm being completely honest, you are my goddamn hero. Hey, I noticed you have a notebook next to you. That wouldn't be a... It's a list of names. Yup, fucking right. It's a list of names of people who made the wrong decision at some point. I call it the Dupa List. And David Garrett was a Dupa. I have a dupa list too. But mine doesn't have a snowplow. Oh, I wish I had a snowplow. If I did, my god, how things would be different. Give me an example. What would you do if you had a snowplow? When I asked you... What would you want to do with a snowplow? I guess I thought you would want to exact sweet revenge on your foes. But a really big sledding hill in Target parking lot is pretty cool, too. Yeah, you know what, Gary? I'm, I'm trying to not be such a demon all the time, you know? I'm trying to control my anger and make better choices and uh, stop being butthurt all the time, basically. Yeah. Well, good for you, James. Personal growth is the hardest growth. <laughs> it's kind of funny. What is funny? You said hardest growth. I did. I now get the joke. If you don't mind, I think I'm going to take a little trip down Target Mountain. Me too, Gary. Wee. Wee. Hey, Gary. I had a lot of fun tonight. Thanks for letting me hang out and uh, help you plow. Not a problem, James. I had a pretty sweet time, too. <coughs> Shit, Gary, you hit someone. I know. You don't recognize Tony Suarzo? Oh, that's right. You didn't go to our high school. Ah, oh, damn. I should have went to the gas station off Hiawatha. This one's so expensive. 
Yeah, Larry and Steve's are always fancy ass. They got an arcade inside and a grill that goes until nine. I don't get it though. Who would want to hang out at a gas station? Well, they got a garage, so like people are waiting to get their tires and oil changes and shit. Well, I'm only putting in five dollars. I'll go fill up somewhere else that's cheaper. How much you end up saving going somewhere else? I don't know, probably like three bucks or something. Why are you being a bitch about money? Because I don't have any money, asshole. Don't do that. Uh, I'm just not getting paid anything at that stupid pen place. I can't wait to quit. Yeah, I feel that. I gotta quit that booth. I wasn't done. I wasn't done. I was gonna say something, but go, you go. Yeah, like I was saying, I gotta get out of that moving place. I've been fooling around with the owner's wife. Fooling around? What does fooling around mean in this case? Anal. What? You did that? Yup. Wow, I've always been curious. Did it hurt? Oh, uh, no, not really. Oh, so you've done it before? You need to rewind your thought process and play it back in your mind. Oh, you put it in her butt. That makes sense, too. We going to get that gas, or what are we doing here? Should I go inside to play some Street Fighter? Oh, yeah, right. Hello, I'm Maria Menendo, and this is today's Celebrity Talk. Lindsay Lohan has been involved in a car accident on the way to her upcoming film, Liz a Dick. This is not the first time the child star has oh, been Oh shit, I forgot. Last Urgh, time this is what you wanted, isn't it? What sick corporate fuck lord came up with this stupid TV next to the thing that takes money by the second? I hate this stupid fancy fucking gas station. Fuck you, Larry and Steve. Hello, I'm Larry Jenkins. What's the problem here? Are you not having a wonderful time at our state-of-the-art automotive experience? Uh, yeah, it's just your gas is so expensive, and Maria Menendo was wearing that shirt with the boobs under it, and I forgot to stop it from filling all the way. How about a free mushroom and Swiss burger on the house? Oh, yeah, get me one of those, too. I'm his best friend. <clears throat> that was the, uh, first time you called me your best friend. Of course, you were just... <laughs> trying to get a free burger, I suppose. But, uh, I counted it. Yeah. I'm glad I got a chance to come see you. I just wish it was a little sooner, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Remember when DJ used to, uh, Get us free tacos in high school? <laughs> Actually, just talk to him. He, uh, he's coming to visit. He's actually the person who told me to come. I guess I know why now. Um, well... I already told you everything on the phone last week that I wanted to say. So, I guess, I guess I'll let you sleep. <clears throat> hey, you better not mess with my wife up there, okay? <laughs> Seriously, though, don't. Hello, James. Long time. DJ. How'd you know to tell me to come? You already know the answer to that, James. Yeah, I suppose I do. You need to go back. What? Back where? You need to go back and get a book and destroy it. Who are you talking about, DJ? Since you've become perma-smart, I can't... James, you need to go back and destroy this book. The man who wrote it has sparked the atrocities that have dominoed into the desperate state of affairs that the world is in right now. Without the book, the worlds can still be saved. 
Like a butterfly effect thing? Yes, like that. But why me, though? Why can't you go back and destroy this book? You're the only person to have ever seen the book. It must be you. Plus, I've used up all my trips. I only have one more to give. So if I go back in time, I stay there? It's a one-way trip. I could have kids this time. As long as you get the book and destroy it. Yeah, you've said it a bunch of times, DJ. I got it. Book. Kill it. Okay. What you're asking is a big thing, okay? Do I want to go back? How do you know this, DJ? How do you... How is any of this possible? Because, James, I'm very, very smart. Yeah. You kind of always were. All right, so I could go back and uh, do it again. Okay, I'll go. I know, James. It's the reason I found you in the first place. Found me? You are going to go back to the year 2023 when you are the age 42 years old. Okay, so right before I meet Clara. Yes. Will I remember any of this? No. You will jump into your life again, and you won't know anything that comes after. The only thing you will remember is you need to find that book and destroy it. Hey, DJ. Not sure how this whole alien magic thing works, but can you make me younger? Like... When I go back, can you make me 32 instead of 42? Yes, I can make you younger as a reward for saving the world. Can you make Alice the same age too? Because if we're not the same age, then we might not be best friends. Okay. But I still want to be born in 1980, okay? So, like, I want to turn 32, like, when I normally would, and then just stay 32 for, like, 10 years. Okay? Both Ellis and I. Okay, Rugburn. That solves a lot of issues. Nice. Are you ready, James Rugburn? Are you ready to find that book and save the world? I am, DJ. All right. Oh, wait. What book am I looking for anyway? It's called The Dupa List. Tonight's top story. Two more local men have gone missing, bringing the total to seven since this worrying trend started last summer. Authorities are no closer to solving this mystery as leads on the case have been slow coming in. With these new disappearances, Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Bake had this to say. I stand by the Minneapolis Police Department in the search for the person responsible for these heinous acts. I also want to add that if you give me a follow on the gram, I will give you a shout-out at the next briefing. Tonight's winner is Chris Acab. Acab. Oh, A-C-A-B. Oh, very funny, guys. Leave my friends alone. The latest victims have been identified as David Garrett and Tony Suarzo. If you have any information, please contact the police hotline. Hey, Ellis. Yo. I know who did it. Did what? The reason all these people are disappearing. All right. Who did it? Do you remember Gary? Do I know Gary? Yeah. Is he the one with the mustache? No. Is he the other one with the mustache? No mustache. All right. Hmm. Oh, is it the dude that says sweet all the time? Yep. And he has a snowplow. That's what he uses. Uses? What does that mean? Yeah. He uses a snowplow as a deadly weapon. Those people aren't missing, Ellis. They're snowed in. Forever. Yeah, but why do we know Gary? Uh, I think he's more of a Dewey Dave buddy, actually. Oh, okay. 
Here's another question. How do we know Dewey Dave? Bar. Oh, yeah, that's right. How much do they say you get if you uh, give information out about him? What do you mean, like a reward? Yeah. I don't think there is one. They didn't mention it. Well, that's too bad. No, no, we can't just let him stay out there killing people, Ellis. Why the fuck not? What's our incentive on doing the police job for him? If they ain't paying my ass, I'm not doing shit. But that makes us accomplices. The fuck it do? I was just half watching the news and thinking about Jenny's Frito casserole when you started laying this shit on me. Nope. Go be Columbo on your own time. I already know how to stop him. I just have to get his book and destroy it. What book? He has a list of names, Ellis. He calls it the Dupa List. Detailed descriptions of the people who wronged him and their current weekly routine. Remember that morning show host from The Stan? Corey... What was it? Corey something. Corey Burrell? Cocaine Corey. Cocaine Corey. He was in the book, Ellis. And guess what? He was found dead two years ago underneath a pile of snow at the end of his driveway. Guess who also worked at that station? Gary did. I remember now. Remember when I got interviewed over there? I do remember. I do remember. You didn't let me come. Remember, you didn't let me come. Stop saying that, bro. Come. Well, fuck you for that. Anyway, all we have to do to end Gary's reign of terror is destroy the book once and for all. That's a horrible idea. Why? No, it's not. You're not thinking about it. Think about it. This dude has taken out all his enemies one by one. And then one day, all of a sudden, his future enemies all disappear. He doesn't know anything about him anymore because he doesn't have his list. But there's someone, a new enemy, he's going to put right on the top of this next list. So I would not take his book. Well, I wish you would have told me that yesterday. Look at the dumbest motherfucker in the whole wide world. I am, aren't I? Oh, for sure. Gary is going to smush your ass to death. Uh, what am I supposed to do, Ellis? Should I tell the police? You know what? Maybe Gary doesn't even know I took it. I was pretty sneaky about it. He probably will just assume he left it somewhere. Oh, look, I have a text. Fuck. He's coming, Ellis. Stop saying that shit. Plus, get out of here. Away from me. Now. Oh, shit. Well, here we go. Hope you can handle a nine banger. It's been going that way. I used to be like you, Gary. I had a list of people I wished death upon. I held grudges so tight that they would make me physically ill. I used to be angry like you. But not anymore, Gary. I am choosing to make better decisions. First one is destroy the dupa list. <laughs> Wrong decision, James. <laughs> <laughs>
Pine Vinyl.